Now you don't have to use z-spheres for just base mesh creation, but it's an easy way to kind of teach z-spheres. Uh, if it op accidentally opens up the draw menu, just close that out by clicking that little white circle. So z-spheres, I can either append a z-sphere and make a body, or I can just go to this tool here and select a z-sphere and it'll give me a new scene to make a body from. So either way, uh, we can make a body and I'll show you how to do both. So we have a z-sphere here. So let's call this the belly. And z-spheres are pretty simple. So we're in draw. And if we hit X to go across X symmetry, which again is under transform, activate symmetry across the X axis. Um, and we got Z forward, so there's a blue line. If we just click and drag, we will draw a Z-sphere. And if we click and drag on this Z-sphere, we will create another Z-sphere. And so on and so on. If you click and drag and you make a Z-sphere, and then you click and drag, and then you hold down Shift, it'll snap to the previous size of the last Z-sphere in the chain. If you hit W to go into move mode, you can actually move these Z-spheres around. So you can click the Z-sphere and drag, click this Z-sphere and drag. You can even click this Z-sphere and drag it around if you want to. And these little connector areas are, I guess, it's kind of like having joints connected by bones in a way. In a way. Uh, so you can use these to create meshes. Now, if you want to see the mesh that you're working on, you're gonna have a couple different options. So there's Z-Sphere, we have a Z-Sphere selected. So we scroll down here, just like when we had a primitive mesh selected and we have some different menus. When you have a Z-Sphere selected, you're gonna have a menu down here called Adaptive Skin. Now, if you wanna see what your mesh is gonna look like when you're ready to sculpt on it, you can hit this preview button and that'll give you a skin preview. We can turn on polyframe. And uh, oh, it's, it's Dynamesh, it's got the Dynamesh resolution and the density. So you can change the Dynamesh resolution that it's gonna make and tap preview on and off. And you can change the density to one, interesting. Okay, so if you turn Dynamesh resolution to zero, it's gonna give you just actual polygons. And this is how I prefer to kind of see it. You can crank the density up and that'll kind of start smoothing it out. It's the same thing as just hitting control D when we were talking about, in fact it is, here's the geometry resolution here. If you change the density down here, it actually changes that as well. So it's the same thing as just hitting geometry divide whenever you make an adaptive skin, which is what this is. So this is just a preview of it. It's not real. You can hit A to toggle adaptive skin on and off. So while you're working with Z-spheres, you can just toggle adaptive skin on and off. <clears throat> I'm gonna hit Q to go back into draw mode here. And so we've got some arms going. And if I wanna rotate these arms around, you can hit R and you can grab these bones and you can rotate down the child from child parent to child so you can either rotate just the joint or you can rotate down the bones and same thing with scale if I go in here to scale I can either ro scale individual joints here individual z-spheres or I can scale entire chains just by grabbing the bone and then scaling them down so we'll go in here with move and we'll kind of just give them a nice pose here I'm gonna hit Q to go back into draw mode I'm gonna give them a neck now as I'm drawing on this thing, if I if the two dots aren't connected, it's gonna draw across the x-axis. If I go here and I, they kind of meet in the middle, it's only gonna draw one z-sphere. So that's how I can do a neck. And I can click and drag on this one. I can move it up. And if I wanna scale this, just hit E and then scale that up. And then again, if I wanna see what this geometry is gonna look like, I can hit A and that'll preview the adaptive skin. Hit Q to go back into draw mode. We'll go to the bottom here. And just really quickly, we'll give them some hips and move those out, hit Q. Now, if I hold down Shift, again, it's gonna to snap to the same size. I can hit W and move these down. Now, if I wanna add knees, all I have to do is go into draw mode and just tap anywhere on that chain, and then I can just move, hit W to go into move mode. So really quickly, you can uh, draw and move. If we wanna do feet, we can draw and then move. So Q and W, and then of course you can scale rotate if we want to scale down his chest a little bit or scale up his head, go to the side and we'll give him, use move to kind of pump his rib cage out and then move his butt back a little bit, give him more of a, <laughs> I don't know if I call it a natural pose, but you know, whatever we're making, he's, he's a stylized guy. And you can go to the bottom here and we can move his toes out a little bit. There we go. Looking good. If we want to do really quick hands, we can go Q, we can draw him a thumb and then we can do one finger. I'm just going to do three fingers, let's say. So we got three fingers here, and I'm gonna do a thumb here. I'm gonna move this out, and then draw the rest of that one. And then for the fingers, I'm gonna draw, draw, draw. 
and then I'm going to move, 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 and then hold on, I'm going to go back into draw and click, 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 and then go to the front, and I'm going to go W, just give it a nice natural curve, and again, it's not very natural, but, and now I can go in here with rotate, and I can rotate this hand around, or I can rotate here, so again, I can use this to my advantage, or I can just go in here and move the individual joints around. So we've got a hand, we've got a body, I can hit A to see the adaptive skin, and if I want to have a DynaMesh, I can turn on Polyframe, and um, turn off Preview, turn Preview back on. So this is what it'll look like DynaMeshed. If you don't want it DynaMeshed, just turn that to zero. If you want it smoothed once, you can change density to two. Um, if I like what I see, all I gotta do is go down here to Make Adaptive Skin, click that. And what that's gonna do is throw out a Skin Z sphere just kinda out here in my tools. So, right now this is still a Z sphere. So if I hit A, I'm still in Z-Sphere mode. I can go through here, and if I want to, I can hit Q. If I want to give this guy some wings, I can go into draw mode, and I can make some wings on his back, and then hold down Shift when I draw, move these up, or whatever you want whatever you want to make, antenna, wings, whatever. And then you get A to make a new adaptive skin. If I want to sculpt on this, i got to go to Make Adaptive Skin. It'll throw it out into its own tool here. I can select it. Now this is a skin Z sphere. This is just polygons here. Uh, X is already turned on. Transform, activate across the X symmetry. So now you can just go through here with your clay brush or your standard brush and just start sculpting on him with your inflate brush or your move brush or whatever. If you immediately want to just start dynameshing this guy or you can subdivide while you're working. So you can go to geometry and you can hit divide and then you can just start, you know, keep sculpting. And once you get it to a certain point that you like, I like I'm sculpting the head here. I'm sculpting out the hips. A little bit of a shape. And if you're ready to start sculpting or you want to start dynameshing, what you can do is you can you can split them off into parts. You can see the Z spheres gave you some pretty handy parts. You can hold down Control Shift, Control Shift Drag to invert that. Control Shift Tap. So Control Shift Tap, Control Shift Drag, Control Shift Tap to add that. I can do Control Shift Drag and then Alt to add that as well. And now what I can do. Well, it's not going to let me, but I can try and do a split uh, hidden, but it's, it's grayed out. So what I got to do is delete lower. It won't let you split anything that has subdivision history. So I can delete lower. That'll delete any subdivision history. And now I can just do split hidden. And now I've got arms as a separate subtool and bodies as a separate subtool. So one thing that DynaMesh does is close holes for me. I don't believe geometry, mono yeah, there is no close holes operation in ZBrush Core, so you're gonna have to, you can use geometry DynaMesh to close holes. So turn down blur. So DynaMesh at resolution 128, I'm gonna change that to like 64, and then hit DynaMesh, and that'll DynaMesh this body and close the holes for me. I can also select the arms here, same deal, DynaMesh, we can keep the resolution at 128 for the arms and DynaMesh these. The reason I kept these at 128 is if I do these at say 64 in DynaMesh, it's going to web these fingers together. So I like to keep my hands, I mean I could split the hands off as well. Um, in fact if we want to, let's you know let's do our trick. Control Shift, select Lasso. I'm gonna grab right here at the wrist and now I'm gonna do a Poly Groups, Auto Groups. Control Shift to bring my wrist back and now I'm gonna do a quick mirror and weld across the x-axis. And now I'm going to control shift grab these hands here and I'm going to do a split hidden. And now that the hands are separate, I'm going to go to DynaMesh at resolution of, you know what, I'm going to make the hands 256 DynaMesh. Cool. And then I'm going to grab these arms and I'll make these 128 DynaMesh. And that went ahead and closed the holes for me. And now I got the body at 64. So you can work at different resolutions depending on what you're working on. Just depends on what makes sense, you know? So now you can go in here and you can sculpt on the body separately. And since it's DynaMesh, you can do crazy stuff like uh, get your move brush here and just move stuff out and control drag and uh, you're good to go. And again, if this gets too small, go in here with your inflate brush. Oops, I guess I didn't save my inflate brush hotkey. And uh, there you go.